Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading, guys. So uh, we're going to do your love and romance reading. And um, this is going to be for you for the next 15 days. So thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you. And um, let me just get three cards from this deck. For Cap Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give us three cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. We have free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. And children, your love life is being affected by children. So yeah, this could be fur babies, um, you could be you know dealing with that kind of energy. Uh, there could be longing to have a, a child, some, some kind of a freedom or giving yourself, you know, um, uh, freedom, um, giving your, yourself some kind of, uh, what is it called, um, uh, a relief or a time for yourself, being away from the hustle and bustle of taking care of the household, households. Um, there are friends who are willing to help you. You could be, you know, having friends around to help you. Um, that's what I'm getting with those cards. So let's get some more details from the, this is our uh, fairy tale deck right here. Let's get some insights from this text. So two cards for Capricorn, please. Two cards for Capricorn. And then one more. All right. So our first card, we have Gentleman. Hmm. I see a tiger. All right. And then we have Garden. I do see kids again, like playing. You can be surrounded with that kind of energy, that playful energy. Um. I see a gentleman, right? I see the male energy right here. So let's see what that means. So the gentleman is could be prince or peasant. Uh, it means home, soulmate, man of importance, male partner, masculine. What's that? Masculine influences. There are okay. It means uh, he is uh, celebrated as a hero in his village. Um, so he's he someone is trying to prove themselves some kind of a masculine energy could be a male energy that is trying to prove their worth um okay so there could be like a masculine influence in your home right now like when it comes to raising kids or yeah something like that so some kind of a male influence in when it comes to kids and then garden is number 20. So garden means friends, festivities, acquaintances, gatherings. So I think that, you know, there will be gatherings with friends here. It's being uh, emphasized or highlighted here. Um, let me see. This card reminds us of the importance of community. It can indicate a festive time of friends and family gatherings. For a specific timing needs, this can be a Sunday. Okay, this card is sometimes also called park and may feature a public place where people gather. So it's a park. Some kind of a gentleman may be coming towards you and influence something about kids you know or uh your friends okay so let's clarify that with the tarot deck here let's get more details from the tarot deck and your just for capricorn please sun moon rising and venus so this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus what's uh the, the current energy for capricorn please current energy Okay, so I, the, I see the celebration again, like coming together, festivities, uh, gatherings, and it's talking about a gentleman. Yeah, there's this gentleman again, King of Wands, and our King of Wands is a married card, so could be your baby daddy or someone um, you're committed to, could be a father figure um, that is um, watching over the kids, playing at the park. Okay, um, what is at the very top, please? We have the full card. Uh, this talks about Uranus. Um, there's some expression or they're trying to say something that is beyond or some kind of an unusual. Like they're taking a leap of faith towards something here. And it's talking about the Empress. I think about growth, children, manifestation, um, abundance. It's talking about how uh, the kids maybe are being raised or how they are... Um, how they are being protected, how they are being the growth, you know, um, 
someone could be pregnant or taking a leap of faith towards having kids all right someone could be taking a or someone could be wanting kids and they're and they're waiting for um like an approval from this male influence could be that okay so yeah okay it could be about pregnancy but this could also be the growth of a business um this is our uh this is my motherly sisterly figure um this is um again this is an earth sign so this is you capricorn um taurus virgo and this four of pentacles so this is what the universe wants you to know so there may be some opportunities being missed here someone is being bored someone is um once want, they want to be busy like they they can't be left not doing anything um yeah so what is in the past here for a capricorn what do you want to highlight for the past we have the five of swords so some kind of an isolation or challenge here in the past that could have hurt you or could have delayed um manifestation um could be a person that wanted to meet you but it didn't happen and this magician yeah i think that there were delays in manifesting this energy this growth this kids this that's what i'm getting it could be the kids or this meeting with this person um what is the outcome please we have the king of swords so there is this logic as a queen of swords energy that's that is no longer allowing any lies any manipulation any clouded thoughts to affect them like they are done with beating around the bush they want to make things happen they are being straightforward they want to do this and that all right so that's for capricorn and let's see what your spirit animal is here spirit animal for capricorn please spirit animal for capricorn i saw a tiger earlier so i don't know if that is for your person but let's see what your energy is here what spirit animal is for capricorn oh it's a cat still so the cat family a feline family black jaguar old soul walk through life with confidence and grace you have power from beyond the world focus on what you really want you can create your dreams wow capricorn you have this immense energy around you that could be intimidating to others i see that all right so let's spy on your person capricorn um let's spy on your person let's spy on your person what is your person's current energy what is your person's current energy what is your person okay there you have the eight of wands okay so your person wants to come over wants to express themselves to you um they have a lot to say and it's talking about commitments like moving together taking things to the next level opening a new opportunity with you like they're willing to embrace a new journey and open a new door um with you okay so what is what are their other thoughts for capricorn please what are their other thoughts for capricorn here ace of wands so they're you could be dealing with a fire sign you could have a fire sign in your chart um capricorn but this person wants to start this new beginning they see your potential um after being hurt so i think they're willing to move forward even though they're they got hurt so they it may have not um started as it should be there was like a, like the first part of their relationship could be there was um some kind of they got hurt or something about it wasn't easy all right so there's some kind of um a big new beginning here that was delayed uh, they could be waiting for a new beginning with you um let's see can you clarify the three of swords please so there was a lot of things that was talked about so many dreams and opportunities here there was confusion what else um but it's gonna end and it's gonna be something about a twin flame energy or like you know they're they are they could be, there could be someone coming back from the past here and you may have to double check if they're worthy of your time because the lovers yeah you could be weighing in on your options they, they were wearing weighing in because we're talking about your person they were they were weighing in they had so many things in their mind uh that could be causing the delay with this person but they really do want to send you this message and 
all of this confusion is that's in their past is now crumbling down with this tower card and they're coming in with a true love's offer here it's a twin flame energy um they're willing to work things out they feel like this is the right time this is the right moment um to be with you it could be dealing with the gemini energy i see here so let's see what is their plan for capricorn oops so they miss you they want to bring back those memories um this is person from the past and the two of i think they, they want to have fun because this is our you know looking at a performance having fun um flirting this is my flirting card so they, they want to like rekindle what was it in the, the thing that happened in the past so rekindling the past here and thank you very much capricorn for watching i'm sorry i will talk to you next time bye for now